The Yeezy slides, let's talk about it. The, the amount of hype that this pair of, I guess, slides has is something I've never really seen before. It almost seems like everybody wants a pair of these slides. So after seeing this article, I wanted to find out where are people getting these fake slides from. So I went around and I did a little bit of shopping and it turns out it's very, very easy to get your hands on not just this specific one that they're talking about, but a bunch of fake Yeezy slides. So in today's video, guess what I went and did? I bought every single fake Yeezy slide I could possibly find. And when I say there's a bunch of fake Yeezy slides out there, I mean it, there is a ton of fake Yeezy slides. And of course, for reference, we have a legit, a real pair of Yeezy slides. Uh, it comes in a box which looks like this. Of course, I assume most of you have seen this before. Uh, it says slide on the top, it says Yeezy slide over there, and of course it says made by Adidas to obviously show you that these were made by Adidas. So this is the pure colorway, I guess, uh, a little bit more of the generic kind of earth tone, something very, very Yeezy. But uh, this is what we're going to be kind of referencing throughout as I unbox the uh, plethora of different fake ones that I have in the background. So let's start off with these two. Not really much of an unboxing. Uh, they just come in little bags like this. I'm not gonna do any linking of anything. So if you uh, ask me down in the comment section to link where I got these from, I'm not gonna do it. So I got two of these colorways. Again, they just come in a little Ziploc bag. And again, I guess some of the colorways look a lot like the Yeezy slides. I don't think these are particularly some of the best ones that we're gonna be unboxing today, but you can clearly, clearly tell where the inspiration is. God damn it, can you just get in my hand? So these ones come in, I guess, a very similar kind of shape. Like if you look at the shape of these, they're pretty damn similar. Like if you had them, like, I mean, even side by side, they do feel relatively soft, but I mean, not as soft as the real ones. Definitely a uh, material discrepancy here. You've got a texture at the bottom of this one as well, whereas obviously the easy ones are completely smooth over the top, over the inside, relatively similar. And these are probably one of the worst ones that we've got. Amazon, you guys sell easy slides as well. Uh, let's see if these are any different. Okay, straight out the box, what? Uh, okay, these are obviously trying to be Yeezy slides a lot more, but uh, I mean, if you got this out of your package and it's all crunched up, flattened and creased, I don't think you're gonna be too happy. A lot of these sites, I mean, you may recognize some of the packaging. I don't know if you guys shop at any of those places, but they're not small shops. Like they're big companies that sell a lot of clothing and uh, shoes and stuff like that. <sighs> They are close, man. They are really, really close. I would say that these fakes are a lot uh, kind of light, like they're lighter for sure. And there is a weird texture to them, which is different to the real pair. In terms of softness, the Yeezy slide wins out by a mile. This is uh, a lot harder and just seems a lot more structurally sound for the fact that, I mean, these came just creased to hell. Very, very, very close. There is definitely some small things that are different, but for the most part, they look pretty damn close. So this one is next up on the list. Uh, and we've got a black colorway. So it comes in a box. These are definitely not creased like the Amazon ones. So straight up out of the box, these look very similar to the Amazon ones in terms of like, they're actually trying to replicate the authentic pairs. Like these I would say are a lot more of fakes rather than knockoffs. Knockoffs I would say kind of steal the design, but not fully one-to-one -one the design. The fakes seem to be the easiest to get. They seem to be everywhere, like overwhelmingly everywhere. Like look at all of these different places that I got fakes from and they're all about 10 to 15 pounds. So it's pretty, it's pretty alarming for some, like this is just something to tell you guys, like these things are everywhere, every, everywhere. Yeah, this one is definitely trying to be a fake. I would say again, the softness is definitely not there. The material is definitely not there. The real ones are a lot softer. It feels like uh, cheaper, more inferior materials than uh, this real one. They've got the ridges on the bottom. They look very, very similar. It is, it is scary. It is actually scary. I didn't, 
I don't know. I mean, I've done this kind of video before where we have looked at fake slides and I guess I kind of knew, but I just didn't think they would be everywhere. It seems like they're all a little bit different as well. Like they're not all identical to each other in terms of the fake. So it's, it's not like a bunch of different companies just buying them all from the same manufacturer. It seems like they might all have different manufacturers. I don't know what's going on here. All right, so this one comes in a very, very similar looking box. And uh, this actually might be the same. Okay, no, this is different. Okay, so this is different again. This is what I'm saying. They're all, they're all a little bit different. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are instantly the worst ones that I've seen. Instantly. These feel horrific. First of all, they feel like a brick in hand. Like they actually have a decent amount of weight to them. There's a weird texture to this one. Like... I don't even know what that's like. They've added this really weird texture. You can see there's all like these mixes of colors towards the end, like it's almost discolored. Uh, and then there's just raw edges or little chips from the actual mold, I assume. Unfinished edges, the worst out of all of them by far. This is grainy and, and terrible. Uh, and then this one obviously is silky soft and uh, really nice and spongy. Something that I guess none of these have really replicated. They've come very close, but they haven't definitely nailed this material and the feel of these in hand. Got my Adidas slides somewhere, but it almost feels like those really hard Adidas slides. Like if you've ever had those um, with the three stripes over the top, like that's what this feels like. Pretty damn solid, not soft whatsoever. We got one more and this has got two pairs inside and here they are. Their branding on the inside. I mean, Kanye did start a lawsuit with Walmart. So, I mean, where is he on these? These seem to be everywhere and uh, doing numbers in terms of their sales. And then the second pair I got, okay, this is a resin colorway. Shape of these seems a lot closer, like you can see. Just looking at it, the shape is definitely there. Uh, obviously not the same thing. These are a lot harder. These are definitely a lot softer and they feel uh, a lot nicer in hand. But then again, you know, think about the price. I don't know, man, this is crazy. I didn't know that these things were freaking everywhere from so many different places. The fake easy slides continues. Listen, I'm not here to say that fake easy slides are bad. I'm not here to say that fake shoes are bad. I'm saying you buy whatever you want to buy. But I did think that this was pretty funny, uh, pretty scary at the same time and becoming more and more popular. So if you're someone who firmly believes that you only want to buy fake stuff, it doesn't seem like anybody has an issue with that. It seems like everybody is completely fine with whatever you want to wear. Again, I pose my argument of uh, giving credit where credit is due. This is Kanye's creation and the whole Adidas team for making something like this. Again, we can all wear whatever the hell we want to wear. I choose to wear the real thing. But either way, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video, guys. Uh, I want to know your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. There's a lot that goes into this, something that we're not going to unpack entirely in this video. But again, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for coming through, hanging out. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then. Thank you.